Damn. Looks like I'm walking. Yeah, triple A. I need a tow. The cowboy boot, a timeless and iconic piece of American style, if there ever was one. Born from an amalgamation of Spanish vaquero boots, Hessian cavalry boots, and Wellington boots worn by horsemen during the Civil War. No one seems to know for sure who invented the cowboy boot, but there are several possibly apocryphal stories about its invention. One in particular claims that a Colorado cowboy asked Kansas bootmaker Charles Heyer in 1875 for a particular boot that was different from the Civil War era boots commonly worn at the time. He wanted a pointed toe to make it easier to get into a stirrup, a high slanted heel that would lock into a stirrup, and a scalloped shaft that he could get into and out of easily and that would protect him from brush, thorns, mud, and maybe the occasional snake. Most likely, it was developed simultaneously by several different bootmakers in Kansas or Texas, and by the late 1800s, the cowboy boot as we know it was on the feet of ranch hands and cattle drivers in the South, the Southwest, and the West in the United States. As the 20th century rolled around and Hollywood westerns became popular, the boots, worn by actors like Gene Autry, became more decorative and ostentatious. But the basic style remained the same. Whether worn in famous films by famous actors, celebrities, U.S. presidents, The cowboy boot has never really gone out of fashion because it was never really about fashion. It was about practicality and style. And the cowboy boot definitely deserves to be considered a timeless and iconic piece of footwear. These boots are the Chisos No. 1 in brushed brown leather, and they were provided to me by Chisos for this video. When I was looking into making this video, I was looking into a lot of different heritage brands, brands like Lucchese, Justin, even some more modern brands like Ariat. But the Chisos, even though they've only been around since 2019, they really impress me with their blend of sort of less ostentatious, more traditional styling, really nice materials, um, traditional construction, but then also a few modern tweaks to make the boots a little bit more practical and usable. And when I reached out to Will, the owner of Chisos, to ask if I could have a pair, he very generously agreed to provide me one for this video. And for that, I am very thankful. Thank you, Will. As I mentioned, this is the Chisos number one. It retails for $545, which sounds expensive, but believe me, my fiance and I, when we were recently in Austin and were able to visit the Chiso store in Austin, we also went to a Lucchese store and their boots are very expensive. We saw several pair for 850 bucks, a thousand bucks. And when I was feeling the boots, I had already gotten my Chisos and was feeling the vamp and the shaft leather the Chiso seemed a lot thicker, a lot more durable. I'm sure the Lucchese are nice, um, but I definitely prefer the Chisos, especially because they're just a little more practical for me. I didn't want something super ostentatious. They're made with what they call a heritage cowhide, so they actually, instead of using calf leather, they use retired dairy cows. And that makes the leather a bit more durable. They use a proprietary process to soften the leather up but it's so thick and so luxurious feeling. I really, really like the leather. And my God, do they smell good. When you have these in a room, the entire room gets enveloped in a gorgeous, delicious cloud of leather smell. And I absolutely love it. These boots are available in Magic Black, the brush brown as you see here, and also a rough out. They have several different styles on their website as well. Like I said, this is the number one and it has kind of a traditional round toe, has a moderate heel stack, not super high. The artwork shows the sun and stars over the Chisos Mountains in Big Bend National Park. 
And then they also have a red stripe right at the bottom of the heel stack. Rubber on the bottom of the heel, which makes the boot a lot less slippery, but then a traditional leather sole. They actually have a traditional vegetable tanned leather counter for the heel. I think the only synthetic materials in this boot are, they have a celastic toe, so to keep the shape of the toe, and then one of the layers inside the boot. So it's really traditionally constructed with layers of leather, um, a leather shank, uh, leather inner and outer sole, but then there's one layer of a pressed cardboard or some sort of synthetic material to prevent the layers of leather from squeaking together. So they didn't take a layer out, they just added a separate layer of that synthetic material to prevent squeaking. And they also use a ton of lemon wood pegs and then some brass nails at the bottom here as well to keep the boot together and that's a really traditional method of construction. They also have a channeled area here for the stitching on the bottom of the sole. I've been walking around in these so I don't know if you'll even be able to see that too well but that'll prevent the boot or the stitching of the boot from wearing out too quickly. And they also have, and this is one of the kind of modern tweaks, along with the synthetic material between the layers of leather inside the sole, the rubber on the heel stack, they also have this amazing insole that is super squishy and super comfortable. It also has leather over top of it, basically the same kind of leather that the boot is lined with, that really nice red leather. And it's a really beautiful lining all through the boot, by the way. A lot of times boots will have kind of a cheaper pigskin leather lining, but these have a really nice lining. There's just a traditional leather uh, insole at the bottom there, but then over top you can put this gel insole. It makes the boots super comfortable and there's room for it in the boot. So they leave a little bit more room, you know, from top to bottom inside and in the toe box. So you can actually fit your feet in there with the insole. And I have to say, these are probably the most comfortable cowboy boots I have ever worn. A portion of every pair of boots that Chiso sell goes to Texas Land Conservation. So the company is located in Texas. They support Texas charities. The boots are actually manufactured in Mexico. And they definitely know how to make a traditional cowboy boot in Mexico. It was a really cool experience to go to the store and try these on. I have maybe some B-roll I'll show you of us visiting their Austin store. Really cool, laid back. They had, you know, beer, whiskey, pop, anything you could want in there. Really nice employees helping me try on the boots. And Will, the owner, came by to meet me. He was super friendly. It was just a really cool experience. And he actually showed me a cross section of the boot cut in half. And you can really see the craftsmanship that goes into these boots, all the layers of material, huge, thick pieces of veg tanned leather for the soles fully stacked leather heel, like just really, really cool to see. I've had this particular pair for a couple weeks now and I've been wearing them whenever I have a chance. I don't wear them to work because I do construction work, concrete work in fact, and it is really rough on shoes and so I didn't want to ruin these things. I want to actually be able to wear them all the time. And you can see they're breaking in nicely. The toe bug at the front there really serves to help the creasing stay right in that area, which I really like. I like the fact that it's not super ostentatious either. I think the stitching on the sides is gorgeous. I really love how it looks. I love how the leather already had kind of a cool patina, but it's developing even more of one. I'm just super, super impressed and super happy with these boots. But now, in the modern age, is it viable for just a normal human being who is not a cowboy to wear cowboy boots? Oh, I can't wear these. They look ridiculous. <laughs> You look like a cowboy, huh? I don't want to be a cowboy. Well, obviously I think so, because I've been wearing these. There may be some regional differences, definitely if you live in places like Texas or Kansas or any place that had a sort of cowboy culture in the past. Cowboy boots are not out of place at all. You see a lot of people wearing them. 
pretty much in all of the West of the United States, you will see people wearing cowboy boots, maybe not as commonly as you would in Texas, but they don't look out of place at all. Maybe on the East Coast, people might raise an eyebrow. Hey, cowboy. Where's your horse? <laughs> Yeah, run. There are definitely plenty of hipsters who wear cowboy boots, but I think if you're wearing something like this, especially a boot that is as understated as this Chisos number no. one, if you wear it with some jeans, and they don't have to be boot cut jeans, they could be just straight leg jeans. I'm wearing them with 501s in all of the footage that you're seeing in this video. Maybe a casual collared shirt, even a t-shirt. I think maybe what you would want to avoid is going full cowboy. If you've got one piece that is sort of Western inspired, like the boots, then maybe don't wear a Western shirt and a cowboy hat unless you live in Texas or you're going to some sort of Western themed event or you're an actual cowboy. Maybe dress it down a little bit or maybe not go full cowboy. Wear the boots, wear some jeans, they just look like a really nice, really practical pair of boots. You do have the toe bug here, the stitching and the pattern on the front. You might see a little bit of the stitching under your jeans, but for the most part, I don't think anyone would really bat an eye. I think they look fantastic, and frankly, you should wear what you want. I know some British people very much frown on other British people wearing cowboy boots, um, but not everyone agrees with that. And even if you are living in the UK or Sweden or anywhere in the world, you should be able to wear cowboy boots if you want. And I have definitely enjoyed wearing these. The Chisos number no. one in brushed brown leather. The cowboy boot in general is a very timeless and iconic piece of style and especially of American style. And I don't foresee these going away anytime soon. In fact, I'm sure people will still be wearing cowboy boots in another hundred years. So, thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things, reviewing the Chisos number no. one in brushed brown in our Timeless Style series. I'll see you later. <laughs>